So in this video, let's do a titration problem. In this example, we're going to take a vinegar solution. A vinegar solution is a solution of acetic acid. Vinegar is the common name for that. Acetic acid has the formula of CH3COOH. Now, the hydrogen, the acetic hydrogen, uh, is typically written here at the end. But we're going to take this vinegar solution and we're going to titrate 5 milliliters with sodium hydroxide. And so when there's an acid-base reaction, remember those are called neutralizations. The goal is to find the molarity of the acetic acid solution. And then there's a second question, a second problem. If we know the density of the solution of vinegar, what is the mass percent of acetic acid in the vinegar solution? So we'll tackle that at the end. So first, let's do our stoichiometry. Again, the problem doesn't give you the balanced equation, so I've already gone ahead and written that out. Acetic acid reacts with sodium hydroxide. If you do this double displacement reaction, you'll see that the products are sodium acetate, and of course, the other product of the acid-base reactions, you usually get these water product at the end. I've also written the data down. So we have five milliliters of the acetic acid solution that goes into the flask. Uh, remember, if you go review the titration uh, experiment, the titration lab and the titration notes, um, we treat the acetic acid with um, some indicator. And when we add the sodium hydroxide, the indicator turns a pink color telling us that the reaction is finished, that all of the acid has been neutralized with the base. So the base has been standardized, and there's a video that I posted uh, where we talk about standardizing the NaOH, finding this number right here. So in this example, the sodium hydroxide is a 0 0.196 molar solution, and it costs us 12.55 milliliters to reach the end point to neutralize all of the acid. And the goal is to find the molarity. So we're gonna do some stoichiometry here. So we need the balanced equation, which we have. Here, the multiple ratio is all one to one. And we need to know the moles of acetic acid that react with the sodium hydroxide. If we can find the moles, of acetic acid, we can divide by the volume, and that will give us our molarity. Okay, so for the sodium hydroxide, we start with our volume, and we want to convert this to moles, so you've practiced this already. Let's convert the milliliters to liters, and once we're there, we can convert liters to moles of NaOH, and we can cancel liters. The mole per liter, of course, is the molarity. Once we have the moles of NaOH, we can convert to whatever we're looking for, in this case, the mole of acetic acid. cancel mole of NaOH. And so the multiple ratio is one to one. And so the moles of acetic acid that react with the NaOH Zero point zero zero two four six. Okay, so we know the moles of acetic acid. What about the volume? Well, we know that the volume of acetic acid is five milliliters. That's how much we started with. But of course, we need to know the liters of solution. So we'll convert to liters and cancel milliliters.
Okay, so now we can get the molarity. The moles of acetic acid divided by the volume of the acetic acid solution that was used. And so this answer is 0 0.492 molar acetic acid solution. OK. Now, there was a second problem. The second problem was, OK, we find the molarity. Let's use the molarity to find the mass percent of the acetic acid in the vinegar solution. In other words, mass percent is the mass of acetic acid divided by the mass of the solution. And because we're looking for the percentage, we'll multiply that ratio by 100. Now, how do we solve this? Well, it's actually pretty easy. Let's look at the molarity. What does the molarity tell us? 0 0.492 mole of acetic acid for every liter of solution. Well, look at the units. We have the moles of acetic acid on top. Let's convert that to the mass. We know how to do that. We have the liters of solution in the denominator. Let's convert that to the mass. Now, we can convert volume to mass if we know the density. And of course, if we look at our problem, the density was given to us. The density, I'll go ahead and write it down here. The density is 1.006 grams per milliliter. So we're going to convert units on the, in the numerator and denominator. So we'll go ahead and do the numerator first. Let's convert to grams. of the acetic acid and cancel mole. This is the molar mass of acetic acid, so you can go look that up. You can go calculate that on your own, 60 grams per mole. And so we've already canceled those moles. So we have the mass of acetic acid up on top. Well, now we need to look at that volume. Let's convert the volume to a mass. Now, our density is in terms of milliliters, so I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll convert the liters to milliliters first. Cancel liters, so that's going to go on top. And then once we do that, then we can convert the milliliters of solution to grams of solution and cancel milliliters up on top. So the density, of course, is given to us 1.006 grams per milliliter. And so the answer we get there, 0 0.0293. Now notice you've got gram over gram, so this is just the ratio times 100. 2.93% acetic acid by mass.